gained national attention for his part in Russell Simmons' Deaf Comedy Jam, now sharing laughs in cities across the states. Bill Bellamy joins us in the Good Day studio with more on yes. his awesome career. The man who coined the phrase booty, booty call. call. Booty, booty call. call. <laughs> who could do it better than me? Nobody thought of it. It was just booty running around. <laughs> then boom. I came up with a fun turn, and next thing you know, it's it's in the it's in the uh, vernacular. Yes, the lexicon. Yeah. The lexicon. Yeah. The lexicon. Yeah. The lexicon. Right. Did you the ever try to get it copyrighted? You know, like a car I was to get 21 it years old. I wasn't even thinking about copyright. I was man. thinking about just being funny. If I was smart, <laughs> I wasn't smart. I was just funny. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. None of us were smart at 21 years old. Yeah, so don't I, it, beat it was just. Up over it. You know what's interesting? It was just a thought that came in my head about a situation that was in the news at the time, and the joke came out of you know Friday nights. Just what guys do on a Friday mm -hmm. night. You know, we didn't have, like now, the new generation, they do Tinder and they got all these apps. We had no apps. You no. had to call individually. Yeah. Like, I, that's why the Rolodex was funny, because I was like, <laughs> you had to go. <laughs> it, was like the, it was like the wheel on the price is right, you know? <laughs> and wherever it lands, that's who you call. Keisha, she got too many kids. Boom. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Because, you know, certain girl situations don't warrant getting out. If you already got all those kids, yeah. you just can't come out. And then you get the one girl that does decide to come out, but yeah. she brings the girlfriend who's like the bodyguard. Why are you looking right at me like I would know? Because you look like you have been there. hundred years. Yeah, but before you got married, it happened to you, Cody. Amen. I mean, Amen. Cody, he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. We've all been there. That's what makes it fun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it, it, it cracks me up sometimes. Like, I'll be watching a sitcom or something, yeah. and they throw it in or in yeah. a movie. That's I'm not hilarious. a booty call. <laughs> You're like, it's me. <laughs> I, I, where my money? Where my money? Where my money? Uh, we were just talking. Off, you got a huge. I mean, you're gonna be, you know, tonight performing. And everything. Yes, I'll be at the punchline tonight. But you got this thing coming up on Netflix. Yeah, this sounds incredible. It's really awesome. It's called Self Made. Uh -huh. um, it's the Madam C.J. Walker story. She awesome. was the first African American uh, millionaire. Mm -hmm. She created her own uh, hair products and she, the straightening comb. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I mean, she was just a savvy chick that mm -hmm. wanted to, you know, have her own company, bought a warehouse, and started mass producing stuff. And what was interesting is, is like the time in life. I, I never knew what it was like to go back in time. This is hilarious, right? So we shoot up in Canada for like six weeks, and um, we have, once you go into your costume, you feel it, you feel uh -huh. different. Right. Everything in this town that we shot in looked Oh, like, like, <laughs> oh, oh, like the doors, like you notice, like oh, we got sure taller as yeah. people, like, like you, like I couldn't exist in early 1905. I would have banged my head on every door that was. See how that door is high? Right. It was some little people. You like, bam. <laughs> it, uh, what's another thing that I noticed? I noticed like there were a lot of cobblestone streets back mm. then. Yeah, yeah. You okay. know, we got a lot of smooth streets back right. then. You know, because people did horses. You know, they would ride horses instead yeah. of cars and stuff. Very few people had cars. The people that had money had cars. Mm -hmm. Everybody else would do horses and stuff like that. Just imagine pulling up to the club in a horse. <laughs> <laughs> like, clock, 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 clock. Hey, baby, I, hey, I see you struggling. <laughs> you need a ride. <laughs> Oh it's gosh. hard to be cool on a horse when you go yeah. slow. And then throw you get the reins to the valet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Throw the reins, yes. <laughs> and you're dragging a giant Rolodex behind you. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, the things that have changed. So you're going to be at Punchline today through Sunday. Yeah, so for the right. entire weekend, um, I'm actually working on my, my comedy special. So I have about four weeks four to five weeks that I'm going to practice. Okay, cool. So you're going to see all the funny material, some of the new stuff that I wrote that's going to be thrown in. I, I have a really good hour and 15 minutes, but, like, I'm still at that process of, like, okay, do I want to do this one on a special? Yeah. And some people come and say, you got to do that one. Like, people request jokes. It's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. If you want to be uh, cracking up with yes. Bill and me, make sure you go uh, to our website, gooddaysacramento.com, under show info and today's date. We're going to link all the details. Will you? Punch line through Sunday. You know we got you. Go, we got you, Bill. It's so nice. Keep She's real She's too good to us. <laughs> good to see you, Bill. Thank you. All right. Booty call. Booty call. <laughs> <laughs>